gente, súper agradecido, qué privilegio estoy con el señor Anthony Mendelson, director de ventas de Domain Harlan States, aquí en el Orrio de B. Suárez. Gracias a toda esta gran familia de ventas del equipo de B. Suárez por darle esta oportunidad a Wine News TV. Me han apoyado hace muchos años y hoy estamos ante Harlan. Harlan es sinónimo de grandeza de vinos de primer nivel, super premium, de los mejores vinos del mundo. Muchos dicen el mejor vino del nuevo mundo y uno de los 10 mejores vinos del mundo. Anthony, good to have you. Good to have you in the show. Having me. So, um, I'm very excited. I've had Harlan before, not from this vintage, okay. which I've, I've heard 2016 was a good vintage, It right? Was, yes. What makes Harlan so special? Hmm. I think it has to start with the, the story of Bill Harlan, mm -hmm. the, the founder of Harlan Estate. Right. And Bill's vision when he came to Napa in meeting many of the pioneers of Napa, including Robert Mondavi, mm -hmm. was to, to take what he saw in Napa and figure out how he could create a first growth quality estate in Napa. So learning what he had from was this? Bordeaux. This was in, in the early 1980s, okay. um, which was the beginning of his time in Napa. And he felt from traveling in Bordeaux and Burgundy uh, with people like Robert Mondavi that he could identify a place in Napa that would be able to produce a wine that would be looked at alongside the finest wines in the world. Okay. And his whole journey from the early 1980s through our first vintage of Harlan Estate in 1990 was to identify the right area of land and the right team to produce the finest wine in Napa. Uh, so he found this uh, site that's 40 acres in the hills of Oakville. So Oakville is a very treasured appellation in Napa. And he found that these hillside properties he thought produced the most unique uh, wines. So he identified this property and was able to acquire it uh, in the 1980s. Was he trying to emulate or be inspired by the wines of Bordeaux and give them a, an American quality? Or was he looking at a blank slate and produce the best from whatever the soil there could produce? Yeah, good question. He was really looking at what is the best wine he could make from the land. Okay. And everything we do starts with the land and how we farm the land. You know, okay. we're, we're yeah. really farmers. And so he did borrow from from Bordeaux in that he felt that they had the right approach to make a really fine wine. But our wine, Harlan Estate, is really about the place and the character of our land and how we can express that in the finest way. The, the label is, is, is very unique. I mean, it's so elegant, it's so classic. You yeah. see this dame, this kind of goddess. What's, yeah. What do you guys portray in that label? What yeah, is it? Bill Harlan is a avid collector of, of stamps, uh, especially historical stamps. And he, throughout his years of collecting stamps, came to really uh, appreciate banknotes. So okay. the Harlan Estate label is actually an old banknote uh, that was not, not in production anymore, but he found this through uh, the American uh, banking company. And it really called to him and the team at that time because it really speaks, he thinks, to the combination of kind of focus on the land, being the mother of the land, but also has the elegance that we're trying to it's, portray it's, in, in the it, And the nose here is just incredible. Anthony. Yeah. I mean, um, It's hard to describe these wines. A lot of things are happening. You know, mm -hmm. your senses get impacted and affected positively. Yeah. But it's it's sometimes hard to put into words what you're actually smelling here. Yep. yep. But I, but I get that cassis, that licorice, and that beautiful minty camphor mm -hmm. note, yep. the black cherry, of course, and then you know the oak is not invasive, but it provides that spicy note, that note of maybe bitter chocolate, dark mm -hmm. cocoa, and then you have. This elegance, I mean, elegance yeah. is usually textural, like you yes. touch it, but sometimes you can smell it. Like yeah. I mean, yeah. like you smell yeah. fine yeah. leather, you yeah. smell yeah. certain things that you know are going to be elegant mm. when it comes to the actual touch, yeah. and you smell elegance. Here is incredible. Let's, yeah. let's give it a taste. Yeah, yeah, cheers. I mean, this is, uh, <laughs> it's like... You know, those fine Italian mm. shoes that are so comfortable, even when they're brand new. <laughs> yeah. It's like slipping your tongue <laughs> into, into Italian yes. leather. This, Because this it is brand new. This is a, wow. a, a young wine. Wow. I think what we love about, what I love about Harlan Estate, I'll speak for me personally, is it's, it has this lushness and roundness and richness to it, but very finely balanced, very elegant, and it lasts. It's a very it's, long it's, wine. It's not invasive. I mean, it, it, it's, 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 it's very sort of accommodating, accommodating and once mm. it hits you, In, in the palate, you have this sensation of, of fullness but weightlessness. Yes. I mean, it's it's, it's not weighty, it's not yes. beefy. Yes, uh, it, it does have a, a presence, but it's this like beautiful trumpet that plays 
very loud jazz, but it's Miles. Yeah. It's, it's yeah. Miles Davis playing, yeah. like, which is not loud. <laughs> very well it, said. It's incredible. I'm taking some of these home to Napa <laughs> with me. Uh, I'm, I'm blown away. <laughs> and uh, as I said about the previous wine, um, you have to at least try this wine, wine once in your life. We're fortunate to have it here in Puerto Rico through Bez Suarez. And uh, I hope this is the first of many times we get to taste wine together, I hope man. so as well. I'm, uh, I'm doing a little uh, road trip to California, so let's see if we can meet up over there. We'll see you in Napa. We would love to show you a property. <laughs> All right. Thank you okay. so much. Salud. Un placer. Gracias, mi gente. Gracias a la familia de Bez Suarez por esta oportunidad. Harlan, la verdad que yo no creo que en este año 2022... Algún vino le pueda ganar a este, pero vamos a ver. Gracias. Un abrazo. Salud.